everyone welcome back to the channel it's your boy mustang 214 coming in with another video so today as you can see in the title we're going over top five mods that you should put on your vehicle so what i'm retaining to is for all my camaro guys my srt challengers chargers dodge durangos my mustang owners ford st owners ford focus owners all right i could name a whole bunch but all right so first thing first uh like and subscribe this to this channel continue to support your boy and uh watch this video to the end got some uh important information which y'all probably already seen because there's a ton of videos out there but this is the order that i would do if i just purchased this gt so let's jump into this and let's go over the first mod all right, y'all, this is my engine bay. So, number one mod, oil catch can. How important is it? Y'all see all that oil in there? That could be in your intake, your intake manifold, start gumming up everything, make it nasty when you do routine maintenance. So, it's very important that you get one. I recommend this be one of your first mods on your car you know to help you out you know so it don't cause so much problems you know i believe they should put these from the factory you know i see a lot of cars they got a lot of oil consumption a lot of oil blow by you know but i recommend oil catch can of your choice jlt motion works it's a lot of them out there it's a lot of brands, so uh, you know you can do your research, find the one that's best for you. But uh, like I said, see how much oil in there. Got quite a bit. So that's the number one mod. Second mod that I recommend is tuner of your choice. We'll go in the car right quick. I have, this is an end gate. All right, so I'm tuned by Lund. So you can get a Diablo tuner for your Scat Pack or your Charger or your Durango. Uh, for all you uh, Camaro guys, your Chevy guys, uh, you can run a RTD by HPP uh, and then go to your local shop that y'all familiar with that do a lot of work on Chevys and you know get a tune a revision dyno tune however you like I prefer street tunes over dyno tunes but that's that's me so and then like I said this is your number two that way you unlock the potential full potential of the vehicle by getting your little 93 tune e85 flex tune or e85 tune of your choice so you know that's that so shut the vehicle off before we get out and run the battery down all right guys number three intake this is an open element this is a P-Mass, a 90 millimeter housing, uh, tune required. So you do have to get a tune if you wanna run this on your Mustang. Uh, for all the guys out there that got any, uh, for Mopar, Chevys, uh, not for sure what brands y'all have, but uh, I see a lot of guys go with the closed air box, which is probably a lot better because as you can see, this one doesn't have only have like four of these honeycombs that's open kind of restricting the airflow but uh i heard the closed air box perform a lot better because it keeps all the heat out from the engine bay so your ints are not so high uh during the cold weather this performs very well and has the most gains from what i've seen so like i said intake for number three and for your number four mod 
I recommend y'all guys get a free flowing exhaust. But as you can see, somebody jacked my mufflers <laughs> off my car. Nah, just kidding. Uh, it kept coming off when I kept doing launches. So right now the car is done. So that's that on that. So you can pick up a cat bag, Roush, Corsa, A and W for the Mustangs. Same thing with the uh, Camaros and the Chargers, Sky Packs. You know, like I said, pretty much have the same brands when it comes down to it. So, uh, which helps because. Your two and a half piping or whatever size it is uh, opens up to like three inch. You know, most cat backs are three inch cat backs. So free flowing exhaust is always better to get rid of some of that restriction. So that's that on the number four. Number five mod. headers so you can pick up a set of Corsa Texas Speed uh, what else is out there they're the top brands that I know that everybody goes with uh, Cooks you know like I said all headers to me uh, at the end of the day you know get the same result you know 20 to 30 percent gains on that you know free flowing like i said one and one seven eights uh i know chevy guys they got two inch headers out there uh i tell the guys that if you're running two inch headers think about clearance on the, on the chevys uh so i have one and seven eights uh my headers are are two m I got these when they first dropped before they got up to about 1,000, 1,100 now. And I'm catless. So, could show y'all what it sounds like, but what time is one of my neighbors out here tripping. But uh, at the end of the day, I don't give a damn. So I'll give y'all a little bit. Start up. Show you what it sounds like. Let me put this old catch can back on and give y'all a start up video. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing up for you. Not the barrel. So, all 
All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Later.